Um, so let's take a look at the very next video. Let's go to the next meeting, the very next meeting, which is in June. Now, mind you, between this next meeting and the meeting we just looked at, there is a finance meeting where the finance team who consists of Tammy Brown, um, Kiana Belcher and Jason House, all trustees. Um, they meet with the finance, I believe the director of the finance department who goes by the name of Chris. I think he's Cristalano or Cristalino or something like that. Forgive me for not saying his name correctly, but they meet with him and they start to go through some things and understand where they are, where they're lacking, what tr what's trending as far as if they're on an upward or downward trajectory as far as the profit in the um, organization. And they come to find out that the organization is actually getting ready to operate out of a deficit. It's getting ready to. Um, and they start to talk about tightening up. So they come to this meeting all business, this next meeting. They come all business. Upon approval from the board. So the first I will be reading into the record is the electronic payments. I'm sorry, the first I'll read is the warrant list for the check, the bills that will be paid, which is corporate payment registers number 189, which has payments of $891,263.20. Gross payroll for May 7th, $325,950.20. Gross payroll May 21st is $350,251.73. Melanie Fitness Center register for 189 is $3,016.23. Gross payroll for May 7th, $900.11. Gross payroll for May 21st, $918.11 and 11 cents with total corporate payment. And he's just going over the payroll now. It's all pretty boring. If you've been keeping up with the new meetings, you know that Jason House is the one, trustee Jason House is the one who does have the segment on corporate bills because he actually, um, without me saying it in the proper way, he runs basically the finance portion of the trustees. He's the one who kind of facilitates those meetings. So he presents those bills. And lately he's been the one that's presented a lot of the um, motions to amend the warrant lists. But tonight um, on this very first time, it's someone different and he hasn't done it yet. Um, but when it happens, <laughs> that's when everything changes. <laughs> $173,930.47. Uh, is there a motion to pay, approve the corporate bills? I make a motion that we approve the corporate bills with the exception of some items. Uh, Mar Marvelous Media Group um, for 12, we can pay $1,250. Um, it was an invoice for $4,600. Y'all hear that? Marvelous Media Group. That's not like one of her friends, right? Okay. So they presented an invoice for $4,600. And she's like, we can pay them $1,250. But this is what I was talking about last night. These bills that are so high for what was provided for. And there's no justification on the price. It's as if it was already decided that it doesn't matter what you charge us, we're going to pay. Uh, Mario's Backyard Eats. Um, I'm asking to have that removed. And Warren Mohammed. I'm asking to have that removed. Trustee House, can I piggyback off of uh, Trustee Belcher? Uh, we, I think we need a second to the motion and then it goes into discussion, Trustee Brown. Okay. Do you, is there a second? Second. No second. I'm sorry. Okay. So what they're voting on right now is whether or not to accept the, the warrant list or the, the list of things that need to be paid as he is. And Trustee Belcher, Kiana Belcher, who has on the blue, um, yellow, and white top, those beautiful St. Lucia colors, she says, yeah, we could pay them, but there's certain things we're not going to pay. And she just listed off those things that they're not going to pay. And um, all those things they listed are technically related to the inauguration. And that's going to be a very important conversation in a moment. Okay, here, I got it. Um, so there's a motion on the floor from uh, Trustee Belcher to remove certain items from the warrant list. And it's been seconded by, what's that, Trustee Brown? Trustee Steve. No, oh, Trustee, Trustee Steve. Steve. Um, mm -hmm. any, discussion? any discussion? Okay, I have also some uh, items on the warrant list as well. 
uh, for the Mad Bomber fireworks. What is that for? That's the fireworks show that we've been speaking of that you guys approved uh, via last board meeting for $5,000 from the village. The park is giving 5000 as well, so we all agree to go forward with that. Okay, this is for 3000 Are we just paying partial payment and we well, will pay the rest? I wouldn't know, um, Chris. I don't know what invoice they turned in, but I know the Mad Bomber is the fireworks. Okay, he has it on here for 3000 That's why I questioned it's right. 3000 for Mad Fire, uh, Mad Bomb. See what I mean? How does she not know what invoice she they turned in? Unless she just said, just charge us and we'll pay it, homie. Mad Fireworks. Allegedly. 3000 We'll pay. Uh, we'll pay the John. Bills Grill, the DJ Experience, A-King's Cleaning uh, Facility. Okay. And also, Ed Steve has a reimbursement for what? Okay, we uh, let's back up. So to follow you and the board can follow you. What page are you on? I'm on page seven. Page seven. Page. Don't these business names all sound like something you would find if you were playing Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? They sound like people just page eight and page nine. Okay. Page seven. What's the line item? Uh, for the photography. Okay. The 14, the $1,474.33. You said the Mad Bombers, it might be, uh, the wrong, um, yeah, the wrong amount. Cause it says 3,000 here, but we said yeah, 5,000. <laughs> so that's 3,000. Okay. Let me, and let me respond to you. So the Mad Bombers, it says fireworks on there. So yes, our, it says Mad Bomber Fireworks for three thousand. So the guy you see, gosh, I wish I could go back. You'll see him again. Um, he's a younger. Um, he looks like a, a a Caucasian guy. I can't. I don't know where he's from, but he, his name is Cristalano or something like that. He's the finance guy. He's the one that has all the numbers, all the projections, and everything. He's actually at this point today been been um, prohibited from speaking to the board. Uh, Mayor Tiffany Henier will not allow any department heads to speak to the board concerning what's happening in their departments. Now for the Mario's Backyard Eats, but she said, these are inauguration, inauguration items, those two, in the A King uh, cleaning facility. Okay. Is the village responsible for payment? We got a left promotions. Let me start uh, one. Promotions and then a Sunny Black Productions. Okay, Trustee Brown. Okay, Let's we'll go back. back. Okay. Everybody follow. We'll and take we... it one page. I'll go back, man. Oh, the page final six, is that one. And what page was six? The on page seven, the media group. Yeah. Okay, which one you said you wanted to remove, or you had a question about? Uh, that the photography too for the inauguration photos. Okay. Is that Kareem photography? For the $1,474. On page seven. Uh huh. That's under the Marvelous Media. And then you got TKB Associates Incorporated. And then you got that. That's right under that one. Yeah. Okay. It's right above the Mad Bomber Fireworks. Okay. So I see the footage. Is that the one you asked me about? Right. So that one is for. Now, this is an inauguration item along with. Uh, four no. other things that are an inauguration item. No, it's not. Okay. It's not. The, hmm? the media, the Marvis Media Group is not an inauguration item. That's actually footage. You see it say Foot Patrol videos. That we've been okay, doing. I'm saying the one that says the 1474 is an inauguration item. Okay. It's okay. So That's an inaugur inauguration photos. That is for $450. The rest of them was head shops that all the trustees received. And okay, so on page six, Sunny Black Productions, a PSA in inauguration, and then left promotion. Hold on, left promotion. I apologize. I thought her dog's fart, her dog. I almost said fart. Sorry. I thought her dog's bark was hilarious. That dog was like, <laughs> old ass dog. I was like, shut up, dog. We need to get these questions. Let me put him up. Heck yes, BS. Shit. Mm. The 
dog said, <laughs> that's got to be an old St. Bernard or something, <laughs> Labrador or something. <laughs> Come on. I back. apologize, Mary. He got spooked. You I apologize roll. for that. You're asking all the right questions. So you see on page six, the Sunny Black Productions. Okay. okay. And the left, is it Let Promotions LLC? I can answer about the Sunny Black. Sunny Black, Tammy, is Wally, the one who's been recording this stuff for the last two years. He recorded Okay. It. My only question is, is, is this trustee, uh, is the village responsible for paying for everything for the inauguration? Yes. Were we at a dollar amount set at a set dollar amount or no? Okay, so we are responsible for paying for anything at inauguration. The reason being is it was an actual legal board meeting. So anything that we acquire as an expense, we can pay for it. It's legal. I can also have the attorney chime in if you like to give the legal explanation of why. You see that? Y'all hear that? So she's saying the board should pay for her promotion expenses, her photography, the cookout she decided to have, the the um the cinematographer that followed her around, the board should pay for that because it's all pertaining to the inauguration. There's no wisdom related to that. That is a sneaky, underhanded way of thinking. How can I get around this uh, without not without uh, being illegal? What loopholes can I find, even if it is a waste? of taxpayers' money, even if it is something I should be paying for myself, because I can, I will. The village um, is a, at risk of paying for inauguration. Attorney okay, was it not a board vote or no? It didn't need to be approved or no? Come on. No, but I'm gonna let her speak to you, so. Okay. Don't, go ahead. So the question asked was, was there, not a, was there not a board vote? Like, did that need to be approved or what? And now the attorney, the mayor's attorney is going to speak. Attorney Rice. So we, we reviewed the local ordinances and rules, and there is a special event fund that already accommodates these types of events. And because it was a public meeting and it was catered to the public, I understand, I believe one of the invoices was actually the food invoice for the food vendor. Uh, this was a, no different than any other special event that was approved by the village. It was a public board meeting. And, and that's why, why it's appropriate and it's been there's a prior appropriation for these expenses in your budget for the special events and you had public attendees and you basically fed the public and it was conducted in that in that proper manner so that's why it would be okay for you to approve the expenditures related to that meeting okay now before um trustee brown responds I want to remind us of something that we all have learned about, which is erring on the side of caution. And most attorneys give advice that leans toward erring on the side of caution. And I'm surprised the attorney didn't advise, even though this isn't something that has to be um, approved, it may be a good idea for um, good faith to bring it before the board so that they can discuss it. And you know, you just started, <laughs> you don't wanna start off having to defend your expenses. Um, so I think it would have been a better idea if she had brought those things, but she may have had the mentality, you know, I'd rather ask for forgiveness than permission, but now she got to ask for forgiveness from her friends who she promised to pay. Is there no certain amount or it's just, within the budget just there was no amount for as far as the total amount for the inauguration it would just come out of the special committee fund and you spend down until you exhaust so the budget amount okay all right and that's the mentality that tiffany henyard has it comes out of a budget i can spend it down until it's gone and i shouldn't have to answer thank you we can. I can. okay so um so uh for the attorney All right. so any other questions for the attorney, so what um, what budget is that coming out of? Okay, it. Okay, one second, guys. I don't know. We can't hear anyone. What happened? What happened, Derek? Yes. 
Nice. Can okay. you hear me? Okay. Whew. Yes. We back. Okay. Go go ahead. Anybody else have questions? Was you done, Trustee Brown? I was hoping that gave her a minute to restep her actions or rethink her actions, but I don't think it did because she continues to do the same thing. Trustee Beltran had a question. Mayor. Mayor, I had a question. So she said it's coming out of the special event budget. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Good evening. Thank you for and being here. We completely support what you're doing. On we really, really do appreciate you. Too? Let me just say this. Let me pause this real quick because the Dalton trustees have entered the chat. Thank you for being here. Um, this is one of those um, those lives where I just want to let you know what we're doing right now <clears throat> for whichever one of you are here. First of all, thank you for your work. Thank you for your service. Um, thank you for your intelligence, your ingenuity. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for keeping your peace. Um, it is important to me to understand the history of the situation that you're undergoing right now, because I think that's what we have to see. So what we did here was we started off taking a look at that second meeting. I think it was the second meeting you guys had on May 17th with um, Mayor Henyard and just her demeanor, her her bright optimistic, respectful demeanor and how she spoke up for the board of trustees and said, I love my board of trustees and y'all can't separate us. We are united. We are gonna respect each other and love each other. And there's nothing you can do about it. And now we're coming into the second meeting in June after you guys started questioning um, some of her habits, some of her um, mentality when it comes to this. I would uh, I would actually appreciate Dalton trustees, if, if we get it wrong, correct us. From what we understand, the mentality that is being uh, used here, as far as it pertains to Mayor Tiffany Henry, is what her attorney said uh, in this live that we just looked at. If there's a budget of $30,000, she could just spend through it. And she doesn't necessarily have to get approval as long as the each expenditure is under a certain amount. And she doesn't necessarily have to communicate it. And that's what we have a problem with. <laughs> we got a problem with that because we aren't allowed to um, to operate that way, personally or corporately. Um, there are checks and balances in everything that we do. And I think where there is an issue right now, and I, I ascertain that where the Dalton trustees are having an issue is partly that attitude. So let's continue. Hey, Amanda, I'm so glad you're here. In budget now, so it will come out of that budget. In the budget that we don't have yet. Correct. That's what I'm asking. Okay. And then she said one other thing. Um, she stated that it was approved, but who was it approved by if it came out the budget? No, I don't believe the attorney said that it was approved by any. That's what. Well, that's why I was trying to get. Okay. So, in and out, so I wanted to get clarity. Okay. okay. That's how she I'm said saying. it didn't need to be approved. It didn't need to be approved because it was coming out the special event fund, so it didn't need approval, board approval. But I thought over a certain amount it needs board approval. It may, you can still give board approval. I didn't see anything that required a private prior approval when it's already accounted for in your funding. But even if it's not required, isn't it the right thing to do? Especially if you're just entering a seat as a mayor and you got all these bills you're bringing with you because of an event that was you know, some things that you decided to do isn't the right thing to do to come to the folks who are responsible for vetting the bills and saying yes or no, actually coming to them, having a conversation before you bring Mario and Luigi in. Isn't it better to say, hey, let me talk to my board. Let me present this or let you present this to them. Make sure it's something that they're OK with as a part of this event. Make sure they get an opportunity to negotiate. So that you're not paying forty six hundred dollars for something that should cost twelve fifty. Isn't that the right thing to do instead of having to go through all this on the back end? Any, anyone else? Yes, Mayor. It's uh, good ethics. How much money is in our special events um, budget? Do, like, do we have a certain amount like geared towards the special events budget? It's a it's a fun, but Chris, are you on? Yes, Mayor. Can you tell her how much money is in that fund? Give me one second. Special events. One moment. We have budgeted for special events thirty thousand dollars. All right. Any other questions? You T are one of the smartest people I know. Always have been. Listen, she said it. You'll hear her say over and over again, and we may hear it tonight, where she says, 
I'm asking you to approve something, but there's already been donations to cover it. I had the, the checks written to um, Village of Dalton. And the way I see that is I had my friends make some donations. I had some other friends come up with some invoices. We're going to split what's left over. And that's how I saw that million dollar giveaway, quote unquote. Now we see it. It's, a, it's actually a government program. Um, but I see that exactly the way you, you do, T. And I think that might be one of the concerns of the village of the, the, the board of um, the trustees of Dalton, the Dalton trustees, but they can't come out and say that because that would be stepping into an area of defamation of character. So what they have to allow it to do, what they have to do is ask the right questions and allow the situation to kind of reveal itself. But now she's under federal investigation, so that won't be too hard. <laughs> I, 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 want, I, want, I want to be clear. Wait one second, uh, Trustee Steve. Uh, Trustee Norwood, are you done or you got another question? Yeah, so I, I take it. Well, never mind. I take it that he'll he'll get it to us soon. So we. Mm. Oh my question. God, that wasn't something that I knew. Dalton trustees, thank you so much for your input. They say she told everyone that before the meeting that the inauguration was not going to be paid by the taxpayers. Then she put it on the warrant list. This was literally, and correct me if I'm wrong, Dalton trustees. This may have been her third meeting as mayor. And this issue came up in a meeting prior, but it was kind of like, okay, we'll figure it out. It was very respectfully handled. This time it had to go into the details because there was so much. That needs to be noted. She told them, I mean, here's where the trust, you know, I have a conversation with my daughter all the time about trust and being trustworthy and people not having to always question everything you say. You don't want to be a person um, like Jaguar, right? Where we can't even celebrate you possibly being pregnant because you lie so much. You know how y'all y'all got them people who tell you something and the first thing you do is roll your eyes and ask a bunch of questions or don't <laughs> it's unfortunate that this mayor is that person but that's that machiavellian attitude that we talked about last night where you put on a certain veneer of christianity and trustworthiness and no nobility and then you get into the position and you flip it's the politician's creed when it comes to this sort of thing go ahead trustee steve question question so so this is from my understanding Anything above five thousand dollars has to come before the board. But when special events, you're saying that we can spend that money before it's actually approved. If it's over five thousand dollars, is that what the attorney's saying? So much confusion. She, she's on. You no, I'm asking attorney Welsh. Is that what you're saying? That we can spend this money over five thousand dollars that that needs board approval, but we can spend that before we actually approve. Well, that's what I was saying. If it, it doesn't require prior approval under your local ordinance for special events. There was nothing that I saw um, that required prior approval, but each of these expenses were under the $5,000, and that's why we're bringing it to the board currently to approve those individual expenses. So there wasn't any one expense that was over $5,000, but they're being brought to you collectively for approval, and they're, they're, if when you told them all up, they're all within the budgeted amount or the amount that was approved and set aside for special event funds. Okay, because I know last meeting we recruit we, we approved sixty nine hundred dollar payment, but that was spent before we actually got a chance to approve. But we approved it. But this this stuff now is under five. But the first thing we approved that was spent was over the five thousand dollars. But we approved it, but but it was it was definitely over that amount. Right. Though, I believe those were a combination of invoices. I don't recall seeing one invoice for $6,900. If I recall correctly, it was multiple ones. I don't have the specifics um, off the top of my head, but I do. Now, I'm going to pause this for a second because this is very important. Now, what we haven't done tonight that we need to do is ritually tighten up, straighten up our thinking crowns real quick because I want you to listen. Now, the attorney says, I don't think there was one thing that was $6,900, but I want you to listen very closely to how they skirted. See, this attorney, oh my God, honey, you, woo. I believe there were multiple items that were combined. No, no, no. The last meeting, other trustees, kind of, it was the, uh, the caterer. It was $6,900. Exactly. It was a loan. I don't know. No, that, you got it wrong, trustee Steve. It wasn't a lump sum of $6,900. It was uh, two or three different invoices from uh, party that yeah, party from from one from one vendor. Correct. 
Correct. That one vendor was about $1,600 from that one vendor. But, okay, to answer your question, because I think you're getting off track a little bit with what she's stating, that I did not spend $5,000 at one time. Just like you see the invoices here, you might see $1,000 for uh, video footage or $450 for photos, and then it adds up. But aren't they writing one check? The attorney's name, I can't remember it. I got so distracted because she was cross-eyed. Hold on. I was trying to stay focused. Her name is at the bottom. Shante Rains Welch. That is her name. Um, <clears throat> isn't that slick? I didn't spend over $5,000 in, in, at one time on one invoice. There were three or four invoices that totaled $6,900. But she's asking them to write one check. Come on, somebody. I mean, are we going to play the game? Are we going to play the game? Oh, my God. I didn't know that, T. I wasn't aware of that. But, yeah, the, I think that her attorney, her attorney may have, she may have been ill-advised. Um, because I don't know anyone who wouldn't have told me. I don't know that any of my attorneys wouldn't have told me. Now, here's what the ordinance states. However, here's a best practice. So I never seen it over my threshold of five thousand dollars. Look at her face. Okay. Okay. So this is Trustee Dolcher, and I, I know we may sound illiterate. This is our my first board meeting where there's a warrant list. So please, I, I want to ask questions, but I would definitely like to, um, attorney, when you get a chance, give me the ordinance number. Thank you, Dalton trustees. And we're going to get to what um, trustee um, Belcher is saying right now, because she's asking a very important question. The Dalton trustee said that attorney and that firm got tired of her shit and quit. I said the shit part. And that's what I was wondering, because I've seen her go through a few different attorneys. She had hit her she also had the white guy whose name I think was Delgado, Michael Delgado, if I remember correctly. And now she's got this one lady that looks like um, the lady from um, the Food Network, the one that made fried chicken and called all her um, servants niggas. But um, I'm wondering why she's going through so many attorneys. We know why she keeps going through chiefs of staff. <laughs> we got the tea on that. I'm like, why is she going through so many attorneys? But now I'm seeing why. But I don't know, Dalton trustees, because I'm wondering if her attorney ill advised her on this one and maybe should have offered her a best practice or something so that she could have had a way to maybe handle this. But as a professional, I don't know why she didn't. I mean, once you get to the place of mayor, this is a CEO position. You should already know to consult your team before you make a move like that, even if there's a way that you can get around it just to save this long ass embarrassing conversation. Because what she goes on to do later is try to manipulate the board into making it into making them think that they are bickering in front of the noble people of the of Dalton, when in all actuality, they're asking intelligent questions as they're supposed to. So what what Trusty Bolch, uh, Paula Dean, that's her name. What Trusty Belcher just asked for was the ordinance that the attorney used to justify this. Now, what I hear the what the I hear the attorney later say is, um, I think she used the word precedent. I forget. Let's let's let her respond for what you're reading off of. But if you're saying so, I just want to be clear. You're saying no one invoice can be more than five thousand dollars, or what, no uh, event, because based on this, and we've been in office a month tomorrow, fifteen thousand dollars of the special event budget has already almost been depleted. Well, I don't want to say you're right because I haven't added it up. But how did you? My understanding though, it's based on expenditure. It's based upon expenditure. So as long as one, so you're saying as long as one invoice is not five thousand dollars, then it can be spent how without the board approval. I just want clarity, and I would like to know the ordinance number at a later date of what you're reading from. Okay, I can get you that opinion. I mean, I'm not going to say what it should be. I'm going to say what it makes sense to be. It makes sense to me based on any corp, any job I've ever had where I had an expense allowance. That $5,000 is a cap. I don't see how that $5,000 could be based on each expenditure. How she could be given 
Okay, if this expenditure is twenty five hundred dollars, you don't have to get it approved. If this expenditure is fourteen ninety nine, you don't have to get it approved. If this expenditure is four thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars, you don't have to get it approved. Well, now we got seven thousand dollars in expenditures that over her cap. So now she superseded her allowance. You help me understand Dalton trustees because this was a couple years ago, and I don't think it ever really came to a conclusion in this particular meeting that you know what the clarity on it was and i didn't follow the meeting after it i'm really just following the demeanor um that she has with you guys and the relationship that you have but i really want to go back to the root cause of the breakdown of the relationship because mayor tiffany henyard is under the impression with her narcissistic self that everyone is against her and she is um you know harriet tubman on a 20 dollars bill setting the slaves free and all y'all are doing is making her job harder and as Amanda said, that don't make no sense. That makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. How could all these people support her up until she gets into office? No, they did not turn on her. It's easy for people who are religiously minded to get stuck in one belief and not allow themselves to sway it when new information is presented. But the truth of the matter is, as many of the trustees have said, most recently, I believe, um, trustee Brittany Norwood said, you know, it's the hypocrite, it's the, it's the hypocrisy for me. How in the hell can you ask us to respect you and you don't respect us? How can you come up here and put a warrant list in front of us that you want us to approve, but you haven't given us any information to go along with it? So what I want to take a look at more than anything is how the relationship broke down. And here it is. This is her third meeting. If you've ever been in leadership, you know that the first thing you need to do is build relationship and trust. And she's not. Lil Wayne is not doing a great job. Okay. Thank, Thank you so much. No problem. Mayor, if I can be recognized, please. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, a couple of different things. Uh, what we're talking about is, of course, a budget. So we have, um, I mean, Chris mentioned some things that in terms of being within budget, the ordinance that, as I understood it, similar to attorney range was $5,000 and under um it would not be within board approval my belief on the intention was that we make sure we don't have large projects that exceed it so um i i didn't interpret it as an individual i interpret it as a collectively but the big mm -hmm. thing is that we all communicate so that way we're on the same page um so it's important for us of course that we get the budget so that way we're talking real we're talking real numbers <laughs> instead of wow. uh, what we're committing without a budget um, and also, but all items have, uh, is to, from what I've seen, have been under the 5,000 threshold collectively. It's over 10,000. And I think that's why it's bringing board. See, it's an ambiguous ordinance and I haven't seen it. And trustee Belcher hasn't seen it. And trustee Steve hasn't seen it. Trustee Brown hasn't seen it. Trustee Norwood hasn't seen it. Trustee Holmes hasn't seen it. Nobody has seen this ordinance. Why wasn't it brought to them and said, here's an ordinance that says I don't have to get approval, but I want to make sure that I handle this in a way that builds the community in the, in the most positive relationship possible. What do y'all think about this stuff? And would it be okay if I did it? And in the future, here's what I understand the ordinance to say. I understand the ordinance to say that I have carte blanche to do whatever I want as long as each itemized item is under $5,000. As long as each invoice is less than $5,000. Based on what you understand, is that correct? And if there's any disagreement, that ordinance needs to be amended. It needs to be updated to, to include language that limits or details or specifies what behavior is appropriate under the ordinance. Yeah, a dictatorship. Absolutely, Dalton trustees. It turned into a dictatorship, even in the instance of her speaking over others, but then calling others out of order when they speak over her. Man, I lived in China for four years. I know what one looks like. And the, the thing is, T, the ones they did approve for, 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 for now a couple years in some instances, there are many times when the Board of Trustees have approved vendors to get paid and somehow the check never made it to them even though it was signed. Yeah, T said, this is what we do. We the breakdown crew. This is exactly what we do. We take the information that's presented to us and we break it down and say, does it make sense? And if it don't, <laughs> we talk about it. Conversation, um, but I just want to make sure that, of course, we are all communicating with each other to make sure that um, the items are approved across the board. Okay. Um, you guys That's all know. Comment. 
Okay, you done? Yes, yeah, yes, ma'am. Oh, I hate when people do that. And she does that a lot. I'm not going to pick on her tonight. I picked on her a lot last night. Um, but I do not like when you say something, especially if it's heartfelt or important, and somebody asks if you're done. That is so rude. That is that is not something that should happen inside of an organizational environment, whether it's a church, whether it's a community club, whether it's a government organization, whether it's a business. Somebody should not ask you, are you done when you finish speaking? That is microaggression. And we talk all the, all the time about white people's microaggression. Well, black folks, we got some microaggression, too. And that's one of them. Don't ever ask anybody after they speak. Are you done? With the, the, the more professional Tiffany Henyard way to say it, the more diplomatic way to say it, the, the more mayoral way to say it would be, is there anything else? Just like they do at McDonald's. She's too stubborn. She got way too much pride. And it's unfortunate because you're looking at a person who could use their power for good and has chosen not to, but may have had some deep to the issues that got triggered in this, in this elevation. As I said last night, anything that grows too fast is a sign of infection. And I'm not sure what her experience is outside of being a trustee. Maybe Dalton trustees, y'all can tell me. Because I, 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 we all see a few years ago, she was breaking into cars or whatever that situation is. But I don't know what she's done inside of or outside of government to earn this seat. Or the one in Thornton, for that matter. Where? Maybe somebody yeah. can enlighten Anybody that. else have anything else? As it relates to the um, the warrantless, yeah. it was a couple of other questions, but um, at this point, I, I I guess I'm a little uncertain about some things. And of course, I know you say uh, call to find out, but a lot of these things may have been stuff um, that I'm just I'm just not aware of. But it's like a lot of janitorial services on here. So uh, I kind of had questions about that. Maybe we do have four or five different janitorial services, but I guess that would be, I don't know who I would talk to to find out, but I do see multiple janitorial services of cleaning for one month. So I know it may seem tedious, but at the same time, we all took over the, uh, like the students play. of the village. Multiple janitorial services in one month. We all got somebody to clean our house. We sure don't have them come over too much because that shit costs money. See, this is the thing. <sighs> Father. It, it bugs me that we have to teach people these things when you and I have gone through the trenches and had to learn them. You understand? People get put in positions based on their, their charisma. And this is why we end up in these positions where we have a cult of personality with no substance and nothing to show for it. Because this woman has been a trustee at this point for eight years. So she knew what was expected. She had held the former mayor accountable for procedure for these same things. So she knew what was expected. T, you know what's T. Allegedly, she doubling the money. She says she don't even know what's on the invoice. How do you not know? How do you, you're the mayor of a village who procured a vendor. <laughs> how do you not know how much the invoice is? Come on, somebody. That's the stuff that doesn't make any sense to me. You know, it, it bugs me because you got people like, uh, obviously you got, everybody on this board has a certain cultural, I'm sorry, corporate pedigree, a certain corporate pedigree that their mayor does not reflect. It's fucking maddening to work for somebody who's incompetent and dishonest. And that's what she's, she's showing here. She's showing that she's decept deceptive and dishonest, but also quite incompetent and not teachable, not coachable, not developable. The mistake that she made in this meeting could have easily been fixed with a conversation. Oh, okay, okay, let me establish the procedure to make it easier for you guys. From now on, I'll make sure that you get the budget in a timely manner. I'll make sure that you get the invoices in a timely manner, but we will watch a meeting in a few moments from just within the last 30 days, where she still ain't figured the shit out yet. She's just gonna do things the way the she finances. wants. So let me let that's why I'm asking these questions. Okay, so for the record- This is not a no judgment zone, y'all. Um, I respect everybody to the utmost here. All I want you guys to do is if you have all these questions, you guys just saw me. 
just met with all of you guys. And if you had questions, concerns, or anything, um, we could have went over it instead of doing it here, which you guys know, the public said they don't like it this way. So uh, peep game, peep game. That's why I extended the olive branch and said and met with everybody. So if you had concerns like you do now, as related to any item on this one list, we could have went over it. So I don't want it to be like picking or nitpicking at one another about anything. I will answer any question, but I don't want to spend all this time on certain items when we can move on. Lately, our board meetings have been going. I submitted a warrant list and I don't want to spend time discussing it. I don't want it to look like we're bickering if we have a civil and educated and intelligent conversation about the details of the information I submitted. Man, it, it is it is the gaslighting for me. Really smooth, and I want to continue it that way. My door will still be open. Um, I'll answer any questions. So, uh, Trustee Belcher, if you do have another Why do you, okay, so I'm just going to say this right now so I don't interrupt and say it again. If this is the meeting where these discussions are supposed to happen, and this is the time so that the people are able to see, because I grew up in a church where we had open business meetings. Of course, this was before the internet, so nothing was recorded, but it was open to the community, not just the members of the church. And everything was discussed, everything. And my mother was the bookkeeper of the church until they were able to hire somebody and take it off of her hands. And when I say there was utter transparency, and if those meetings took hours to get down to the pennies, then that's exactly how long they took. It was respectful. It was intelligent. It wasn't something where people were gaslighted into, you know, why there was no information. There's a meeting Monday where she's going to do the same thing. And I know you talked about, I, I, I'm assuming, I'm, I'm assuming I'm talking to all of y'all at the same time. Uh, and, and right now I'm speaking specifically to trustee Jason House. You talked about, and we'll look at this because we're going to look at your most recent meeting because there's so much, honey. I know that you talked about the setup. And how the how she I call it corporately a setup to fail, but what you identified was a setup to bicker, a setup to argue, a setup to make you guys look like you don't support nothing she does. Um, when you've had thorough discussion in the past about why you don't. Come on, let's go. Question. Let's put that. it on the floor and move on. Okay, so just for a comment and for the record. I don't think that we're, you saying that the people said that they don't want to see it. I don't think we're bickering at all. We're asking questions, the valid questions. And just like things that's being put in front of us, if somebody has a question and you say, yeah, we were together, but we couldn't talk about business. So, I mean, we could be together. And if we can't talk about business, that, that doesn't suffice. So I don't think that we're bickering at all. So I don't want you to think that just because somebody asked a question or it's not a what you believe is the question that I'm I'm just asking. So I'm sorry if you feel that I'm being combative, but I'm I wanna know. Okay. So we were together and I, and everybody know that. So when we are together, everybody can go two on two and they can go and talk about village business. We're not just together to hang out. We're there to uh build a relationship. Oh, I'm, I'm not saying anyone's bickering per se. I'm saying that we don't have to spend all this time on the warrant list because we could have got all these questions answered and we would have had a better understanding before now that's what i'm stating to the board let me mention something real quick uh dalton trustees amanda mbs says hello and we are so glad you are here so i mentioned that i grew up in the church and i've seen a lot of this manipulation happen both corporately and religiously and one thing I've noticed that people do when they are extremely narcissistic, um, emotionally abusive, psychologically abusive, they always say, I love you and ain't nothing you could do about it. Those are people who you really don't want nothing to do with. Those are people who will tell you, I love you, ain't nothing you could do about it. Why wouldn't you want them to love them? Why would you try to do something about it? That's their way of saying, I'm going to be here regardless of whether you want me to or not. I'm never going to give you the space, the time, or the distance to heal from the pain I caused you the last time we interacted. I'm just going to lay on more abuse because that's who I am. And I'm going to call it love. And ain't nothing you could do about it. Trustees. So for future references, if we can get an understanding as it relates to the warrant list, which I know Janice sends out on Thursday, it has nothing to do with the agenda. The warrant list goes out first. And then you can ask your questions, whether it's to a department head person or myself. 
and that way you'll get the right answer and we don't have to go back and forth over a pool let's take this off because people did do a service and they deserve to get paid for the service that they did so if we have no more questions um i will move on to the motion i just have one thing man I apologize. I wasn't present. So that's the reason why I asked my questions this evening. I wasn't present um, when you guys got together. But moving forward, I will make sure um, that I review this warrant list and any questions. I definitely will make sure they are, are asked uh, before the board meeting. I felt so bad that Trustee Tammy Brown said this because she didn't have to. How dare you make this woman feel like she has to reach out to you prior to the meeting to ask you questions about a budget you submit to not embarrass you in a meeting about your incompetence and your sneakiness. And now she's publicly committing to bypass the public process so that you are not embarrassed. How dare you? How dare you? How dare you? That is not leadership. That's not how we lead our families. That's not how we lead our corporations. That's not how we lead our organizations. That's not how we build relationships with people by making them feel this mafia mentality like they have to not. Man, I tell you what, I experience this a lot overseas where you can't ask a question in a meeting because you don't want to embarrass somebody. So you chase them down. I never did. So somebody chases them down before the meeting to try to gain clarity. So you don't embarrass them in the meeting. This is what a meeting is. If you think it's disrespectful, grow the fuck up. Get some corduroy draws on. I mean, gosh, you can't handle being challenged publicly. You're a mayor who presented a warrant list that is questionable and invoices that are highly questionable when you look at the market rate for the services that were provided. She look high right now. She probably tired. She says she stay up till 1 a.m. But she probably stay up until 1 a.m. checking social media for her name. Like Umar Johnson. Okay. And then for you, Trusty, I appreciate it. If you and I do get together, I reached out to you several times trying to build um, a bridge with you and I so that we can get on one accord so we don't have any um, public display as it relates to agenda items. Where's the public display? I mean, this is what I'm talking about. You, you're trying to see, you're talking to very intelligent people who do these things for their living. This is not their hobby. This was not their ambition. They didn't come into their first meeting all geeked up and excited so much that they forgot Robert's Rules of Order and proper procedure. That was you, Mayor Tiffany Henyard, who was so full of yourself that you forgot how to do your job in your first meeting. You're talking to people who have watched and prayed and taken this thing very seriously. And now you're telling them that they're doing public displays because they ask you questions? Amanda, bully. That's, that's the definition. You're literally sitting here telling your trustees who are trustees not to do their job publicly. That's bullshit. Man, there's no public display. You asked on a Sunday. I, re I uh, attended service on a Sunday. So that's the reason. I sent you an email back and stated to you I was at church service on Sunday. Right, so that's no, the reason why right. I wasn't present. Right, I know. Even right. though I did come in late, but this was the first Sunday that I could attend service. Right. But moving no, forward, we definitely will uh, make sure that this doesn't happen again during the board meeting. Okay. This so doesn't I mean, happen again. I what is this? This is what happens in all of our meetings when something is presented that doesn't make sense. I've been on that chopping block. I presented an expense report I had to explain because we went to, um, what's that one restaurant where they serve everything big? Uh, shoot, I saw it when I was in San Diego just a couple weeks ago and I forgot what it's called now, but they serve everything big. And back in the early 2000s, $75 was a lot for a meal. <laughs> so I had to claim jumper. If you live anywhere with a claim jumper, you know they serve everything huge and their prices are extremely expensive. I had to explain to my boss once why I paid $75 for a meal because the wedge salad was $30. <laughs> they used a whole half of lettuce. But we've all been in this situation before. If you've ever presented an expense report and had to explain, I can't tell you many times when a boss didn't come to me and ask questions about something because it didn't make sense. Why did you spend $75? Yeah, we gave you $150 for food, but why did you spend $7,500? $75 of it in one meal. That was a realistic look. 
logical question. Yes, we gave you $150 allowance, but why did you spend 75 in one place? I mean, does that not make sense? I mean, when she first came in, she told trustee Norwood, well, you know, you can just create a budget and whatever you need to create a job or a program, just create the budget, put it on the budget and then you'll have it. I was like, is she, is she trying to talk her into going to federal prison too? So she can have a bunkie? I'm not speaking of the meeting per se. I'm saying that we pick up the phone for everything else. So if any of you guys ever have a comment, concern or issue, I'm up. I stay up till one in the morning. You can call my phone and ask me about anything as it relates to village business, is what I'm saying to any of you guys. We don't necessarily have to meet in person. We can do it over the phone if you guys like. So I'm just saying that publicly once again. So I hope that our, all of our relationships get better moving forward. So now moving. Dalton trustees, what is this shit with her having to have the last word even if she's wrong? Y'all, I talk a lot here, but I promise in my personal life, I know how to shut up. I know how to end an argument. I know how to end a dispute just by shutting up. <laughs> you don't always have to have the last word just because you're the mayor. You leave from Someone, behind sometimes. Um, there is a motion on the floor. So I want to make sure I heard it correct. You guys want to remove $3,000 for Mario's barbecue out of the one list. Is that correct? Or is there correct. A That's correct. to pay the bills or what, what we doing? I, just I, made, the I made the motion with the uh, items that I, I uh, requested removal. I don't know if um, uh, Trustee Brown had additional, but I made that motion. So. Okay. Okay. So I need clarity. Uh, Clark Key, I refer to you. What was the motion to remove which items? Oh my God. Um, Mario's Backyard Barbecue, okay. Warren Muhammad, and A King Cleaning, which I don't believe is part of the inauguration. <laughs> Thank you, Clerk. Yeah, I didn't put A King Cleaning, so. Oh, okay, you did. Up. That, that I did, me. I did, and it states it's in part of the inauguration, so that's why I brought it up. It says it's part of the inauguration when you look on the description, so I brought that up. Okay, that probably was an error on the warrant list, but yeah, let's ask Chris because we don't have that. Um, Mayor, can I be recognized? Sure. Oh, so because I'm confused, Trusty Belcher, can you please repeat your motion? Because I think there's not, I'm not certain which items are. Okay, so I made a motion to approve the corporate bills with the exception of, um, hold on, let me pull it up again just to make sure Mario's Backyard Eats. Warren Muhammad I don't understand then, why she's asking her to repeat this information when she doesn't even vote everybody heard what she said it always seems like she's filibustering a little bit when she does this ask these questions that take forever for somebody else to answer Question, uh, Trustee Belcher, how did you come up oh, with those? thank you for clarification. Items? Are they all the same thing or? Oh, okay, so um, just okay. for clarity, when I called to ask about this, um, the foot patrol video, which uh, Trustee Steve gave me, uh, stated that one of the items um, is a duplicate. That's what was stated to me. Okay. Um, then there's a thousand dollars for a foot patrol video and then two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, I asked about this retirement celebration. Um, okay. It was stated that it was Alan Sheard's retirement. And so I questioned that because Alan Sheard is from the park district. So I was asking, why are we paying a thousand dollars? And then the Memorial Day footage. So that's okay. why I am asked. That's why my, okay. I asked it to remove for us. And Thank I, want, you. I, I want to add to that. I talked to Marvelous Marvell, and I told him we, he, he the, the duplicate video. He said he said that invoice was wrong, and I told him I don't mind paying for the remainder of the videos that he did because that's content for Channel Four. I just haven't got the finished video. So when I get the finished videos, I'm sure we'll be. I, I, I'm a, I'm gonna tell him to put it on the next warrant list. 
No, but I, I haven't have, got the finish. I have I have the footage uh, videos for now. Yeah, I just need to finish video so I can put we can put that on the channel because it's content for the channel. Right, but I have it, so I'm not understanding why we're not paying him and we only once a month. I don't have I don't have I don't have nothing. All I have is the all I have is the foot patrol footage. She said she got it. That's I got that video right? and I put that on the channel. We put that on the channel. I don't have the two other videos. I you talked to her. I, her footage. And I said I need you the other it. videos. You I don't pay have for it. She keep it. Okay. But what I'm saying to you is I have the footage, the completed video. If she has that footage and she puts it on her first her personal Facebook page, that is egregiously unethical and not illegal, but technically unethical. Because you shouldn't be putting anything on your personal social media that is owned by the city, right? For the work that you the, actually, the edited video that I can put on the municipal channel? Yes. So I don't understand why we're not paying people for their work. Because I know I did. You do. You do this for a living. This, so I'm a little. This, this is the first time I heard that I had. I talked to you today. Why is she talking to that I don't man have like it. That? You just told me I had. You have. It. I don't have it now. I just. You just told me I had. It. Yeah, I have it. I just I just need the video so I can put it up. I, that's the whole reason why I he said paid the man. pay for this amount. I don't have right. the other two. Once I get the other two, then we I, I'm with paying for it. Okay. I ran into a similar situation when I was hosting Umar Johnson in Shanghai. Um, the woman who was um, assisting me procured the photographer and had the photographer do the work. The photographer sent his invoice, but I didn't have any data. And I reached out to her and she acted like she didn't know what was going on. And I let her know you're gonna have to deal with him because that's your homie. Because I'm not paying for nothing until you give me the data. And I'm not talking about a copy. You shouldn't have you shouldn't have anything. There's no reason for you to have this footage you didn't pay for. It. And once she gave me the footage, then I paid for the services. Makes sense to me. But I have the other two, so I think we should pay for his money. <laughs> I don't think we should go back and forth with not paying Get him in the fucking footage. If I, if I'm what telling you, I have the make? footage. I don't understand why y'all take it to him. Get out He's of telling the list. So, so Mary, can I ask a question? So you're telling me every time that uh, something is, any type of event that's happening, this guy comes out and charge $1,000? Why would we be paying $1,000 for video footage? But, I'm uh, asking. <laughs> Each video footage is different. So it depends on what it is. The best person to always break it down would be Trustee Steve. That's why I can, I can, I can, I can explain. Great for any any video I, person. They can I can get, explain. Hold on, I Trustee can. Steve. One second. Um, they can, people don't pay that much for their weddings. I, I don't understand. Higher that. than that. So I'm not understanding how we bickering over footage when before we had footage throughout the village. We got we paid the camera person, but now because you don't want to pay the camera person, come on. Cause that's her buddy. And I'm an active person, just so y'all know. I'm very active. I do something almost every other week, and everybody got to see it. Can I can I give my input on that? I don't everybody mind. Gotta see it. I know thousand dollars for a video. That is that's five hundred to come shoot it. There's five hundred to edit. That's a that's a low price. I'm not tripping on that. I know how that goes. My thing is is that I, I talk to you, I talk to you, and I talk to as we call Chu or Marvell. And I said, I need the finished footage. Now you're telling me we got the finished footage. Okay, mm -hmm. if we got the finished footage, I can put that on the channel tomorrow because Give it we to need me. content. But I don't mm -hmm. mind paying it. But 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 having a video production person is 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 critical. That's what I did as the media director. That's it. Why was the footage handed to her? She's not the client. Mayor Tiffany Hill. I keep wanting to call her Hilliard. Uh, Mayor Tiffany Henyard is not the client. Village of Dalton, Dalton is the client. Village of Dalton is cutting the check. So why would that footage have ever gotten to Mayor Henyard is beyond me. It doesn't make sense. Central, everything that, and, and our channel needs content, which is important because if not, you're just gonna bore me over and over and over and over again and that gets tired. So anything that's going on in the community, you need video content to put it out there so people know what's going on. And I may be, that may be a thousand, it depends on the video, it may be 1500, it may be $300, but every every video is different because you have to record it and then you have to edit. So if you're saying, Mayor Henry, you're saying you have to video, I don't mind playing him, The uh, I don't mind making that payment for him that you're saying that you got the video, I don't mind doing it. Okay. Cause I know what it takes. And I There's so many ways to get free footage for your city. Let me help you. 
call some press conferences, do some stuff to invite the media, you know, like put on some, do some stuff that the press wants to talk about. You know, you don't always have to hire somebody to put your name out there. Once you're, when you're doing good stuff, it gets talked about. And you don't have to put everything in a professional light with CGI and editing and all that other stuff. We do plenty with our cell phones nowadays. There are efficient ways to get footage out there. There are so many people who who will come out to your event and do their own footage. How many times have we put cameras on a, on a table at a wedding and got the best photos from the crowd? There are ways to, to crowdsource footage. Beyonce did a whole video. Uh, what was the video? Um, the one she did where she re remade the Frankie Beverly and Maze song. She re she made that whole video off of her fans' footage. She wasn't even in it. She didn't pay a dime for it. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Or maybe even just hire a street team or a marketing team, some interns, you know? That sort of thing. I know what goes into that work. This is Tiffany Henyard. All right. Hey, doing her thing. Um, anybody else? Okay, so let's go on with this motion. So, Trustee Belcher, original motion, Clark Key, can you repeat it? Or are you amending your motion, Trustee Belcher? No, I'm not. I, I know okay. that's right. So, your original Any motion, um, Clark Key, can you read it into record? The original motion was to pay the corporate bills with the exception of. Mario Backyard Barbecue, Warren Muhammad, and Marvelous Media Group. Okay. So if it's some, not all of Marvelous Media, it's only 156, um, 167, and 169. Correct. Okay. So he, she wants to pay 163. Is that, is that what you're saying? Yes, 163 and 165. 163 and 165. That, that yes, that could be paid. Okay, but if Trustee Steve's saying he wants to pay the remainder, you saying you don't want to amend it to pay his entire bill? No, I no, I do not want to amend it because I think that is a lot of money, and I don't. I mean, I'm not a village uh, photographer, and I spoke to Trustee Steve about it. He did say too that it was. Uh, we need to start looking at maybe. Uh, talking to him about having hourly fee versus every time you go right. out is a thousand dollars. So right. no, I don't plan on amending it at all. No. We, right. We, and, we, and we talked about me and Mayor talked about that. Me and uh, Marvell talked about maybe coming up with a set rate, a flat rate, or something like that. But we can work that out. Okay. There's a motion and second. Call the roll. The motion was by Bel Belcher and second by Steve. I just yes. want clarity. And then read into record again what the motion is and then call the roll. Thank you. All right, I'm going to stop this one here because it's more procedure after this. But I wanted you guys to see, and the, and, the, and the Dalton trustees have confirmed that this is where the bullshit started. This is where things fell off. They said, this is when it broke down. From this meeting on, it turned into a dictatorship. And we don't have to go through every single meeting after that. I will at some point on my own and maybe maybe bring some things to you. But what I want to do next, because this was Dalton trustees. Let me know how many years ago this was. It was more than a year ago. I think it was two years ago. So there's been time to fix this. I've had issues with uh, staff and people who I made a mistake with when we first interacted and had to go back and fix it. Had to go back and build that relationship. That's why I'm not as hard on my daughter as I want to be because I want to build that relationship so that when it's time to put that foot down, she knows that I love her. She knows I'm compassionate. She knows I love her. But you can't always come in sneaky, snaky and think people, these are smart people. She said, uh, Trustee Steve does this for a living. So stop playing games with him. Stop gaslighting people like they don't know why they're asking you questions. Now, what I want to do now is I want to go right to the very most recent meeting because